This is Jason Harrison from Wireless 101. Today I'm going to show and demonstrate an exciting application called Google Goggles. I'm going to demonstrate this app using an HTC Evo, as you can see here. This is the Evo from Sprint, which is an Android based phone. Um, Google Goggles is also available for iPhone now. I'm going to open this app and show you the on screen tutorial that came with it, okay? We find the app. I'll go through my home screens. Uh, I'll just go directly to my app folder. Let me zoom in so you can see. This is how it looks. Google Goggles. And this is just a, a tutorial that comes with the app. Say so use pictures to search the web. Okay, I'm going to continue. Um, these are some of the things you try taking pictures of. They can give you information. For example, um, books and DVDs, landmarks, logos, businesses. So if you want to take a picture of a business front, it may give you information or a website. Artwork, um, take a picture of a picture or painting, and it will give you some information on that painting or picture. Contact information, like business cards. If you have someone's business card, take a picture of it, and it'll, it'll file it for you or give you information or website information. Um, products, barcodes, also text. Okay, let me continue. You can also use Google Goggles to translate text from a foreign language. So if you see a book or some text somewhere, a sign that's in a different language, you can take a picture of it and it may translate for you. Now there are some things that Google Goggles won't work with, and that is <laughs> animals so you can't try to take a picture of a cat running down the street and think you'll find out his name or a website <laughs> uh, furniture apparel so ladies you can't take a picture of a, a random purse and things gonna give you some information on it okay that's a little advanced but um, I'm gonna show you a quick video demonstration of what you can do with Google Goggles I'm gonna watch this on YouTube using my phone so it should be in high def I am hot Hi, I'm Shailesh, Product Manager at Google. We're here to introduce Google Goggles, a visual search application for Android phones. Until now, the only option for web search has been typing or speaking. Now you can search by taking a photo. Let's try this book. Just open Google Goggles, fill as much of the screen as possible with the object, and take a picture. You'll see the exact book match in the search results without typing or saying a word. Another good use is on a business card. Let's try mine. Frame the text you're interested in well. Google Goggles will recognize the text and return a result. Now I can click to call Shalesh or add him to my contacts. Let's go out and see what else Google Goggles can do. We can figure out the title and artist of this painting. Or landmark information. When you're traveling places where you don't know the language, goggles can translate text for you. Just take a picture, for example, of a menu. Visual search technology is still in its early stages. It works best on things like we saw today. But it doesn't work well yet on things like food, cars, plants, or animals. As this technology advances, you will be able to do more cool things like suggesting a move in a chess game or taking a picture of a leaf to identify the plan. You might wonder what happens to all these pictures you're taking. You can choose to discard them as soon as the search is done or save them to your search history to view them at any time. It's available for Android powered phones now. To download, go to the Android market and search for Google Goggles. Okay, now that I've shown you some of the um, some of the tutorials, I'm going to give, show you some of the weaknesses and strengths of the app. I'm going to try to scan a few things and randomly in my office and see what comes up, what works, and what doesn't work with this app. Okay, in my first demonstration, 
I'm going to show you some um, pictures on a computer screen, which I don't know what they are. I mean, you may know what they are, but I'm going to show you an example of how Google Goggles works when looking at a picture. Okay, okay today I, I brought up a picture of a pyramid with all the stuff going on in Egypt and stuff. I just thought about pyramids. So I'm going to scan this picture and see what it is or where is it. So all I do is put the phone up to the picture. And as you can see, it scans the picture. It says this is the Great Sphinx of Giza in Egypt. So what I do is I click on it. And it takes me to website. There's Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia. It gives me information. It shows me this a landmark. It's the Great Sphinx of Giza. And it, you can scroll down. There's a bunch of different um, websites with information con pertaining to the F Great Sphinx. Okay, that's just one example of how Google Goggles works. I'll try something else. Okay, okay, next here is an old college book of mine from my marketing class I took years ago. And I'm curious to see what comes up if I scan this on Google Goggles. As you can see it scans. And it came up right here. See, it came up with marketing and introduction, the book with the actual picture. I don't know if you can see it on the through the camera lens, but I'll click on it. And it actually goes directly to the web page. There's a picture of the book here. Marketing introduction. You can see that's the book. The author. It's Gary Armstrong. Publisher, Prentice Hall, published in 2000. You have a product search, you can go there, or you can go directly to websites. You see? So that's a pretty good tool if you have a book you want to search or find out how much it costs or where you can buy one. Google Goggles is a great tool for that. Let's see how well this does with the Google Goggles. So once again, I'll bring the camera up. I'll take a picture. It says blurry image. Uh, crop button for better. Oh, there it is. It did come up anyway. So it says a combo LI SATA ID hard drive. Let's see. As you can see, it didn't come up with the actual brand. It just came up with something in that field, which is close. It's kind of close, but it didn't give me the actual brand or anything. It just gave me a list of Saturn ID hard drive, hard drive. So that's one thing you have to be careful of. If there's some kind of barcode or specific name or model, it may give you a better result. Okay, so that's one weakness of this application. Okay, next I'm going to demonstrate using Google Goggles on an actual hard drive, internal hard drive, and see what happens. Well, it came up with a the name, the logo, which is Mac Store, which is correct. Um, it says uh, HP 80 gig hot swap hard drive. As you can see from this right here, this is not a 80 gig, it's a 100 gig PATA hard drive, or PATA. And so I think that's a little off, but we can go to the Mac Store um, logo, and it comes up with their actual website. But that doesn't give me the actual product, it just gives me the website, okay? So that's another weakness. What I'll try, it, what I'll try to do next is actually scan the model number and see what happens. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see this, but that's the actual model number and a description of what it is, okay? So I'll just go right up on it. Scan that. Diamond Max 10. And see, it came up with uh, actual data right here. Let's see what happens. Okay, now it gives me the correct information. It's a Diamond Max 10 model, 100 gig, PETA, hard drive. Um, here's the website for it. 
and there's different links, websites and links for it. But if I want to go to it, at least it gave me the exact device or product I was looking for. So I guess the best thing to do is if you can have a model number, that's probably more of a strength, find a model number or a, uh, I'm sure a barcode would give you the right results every time. Well, there you have it, Google Goggles uh, for Android, and it's also available on the iPhone. Um, with any technology, there's always going to be some glitches, some strengths and weaknesses. I would say try it out for yourself. I mean, for me, it helps out a lot of times. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, just whatever helps you out works for you, okay? Thank you. This is Jason Harrison with Wireless 101, and thanks for your time.